The following is a paid program. The views expressed are not necessarily those of the management or ownership of 1500 ESPN. Hey, there you are. Come on in. You've arrived at the place to discuss all things related to the home. Buying, selling, refinancing, remodeling, and much more. This is Minnesota Home Talk, on the air, live from the studios of AM 1500 KSTP. Now, here's your host, Jason Walbrave. Good morning and welcome back. This is Minnesota Home Talk on 1500 ESPN Twin Cities. We are live every Sunday morning and on demand at Minnesota Home Talk. Dot com. I'm your host, Jason Walgrave, with the Minnesota Real Estate Team, the number one real estate team in Minnesota, and REMAX Advantage Plus. Also in studio this morning, I have I would like to welcome Zach Hart with American Income Life. Good morning, Zach. Good morning. Great to have you. Yeah, uh, Glad to be here. This is your uh, debut show. You're one of the newest partners in the show. It's great to have you. Yeah, like I said, I'm very, very excited to be here. There's nothing like a debut. A little, little rainy this morning. Do you have any trouble getting here? Uh, you know what? I did not. I did not. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm fortunate enough to have one of those gyps machines in my car to uh, get me pretty much everywhere I need to be. <laughs> I know. I rely on mine a little too much sometimes. Uh, this is a live call-in show. If you're new to the show, we will be taking your calls this morning. Anything and everything real estate, you can give us a call. We'll get your questions answered. Whether you're thinking about buying, selling, investing in real estate, refinancing, or you just have general uh, real estate questions. Maybe uh, you're trying to sell your home and it's not selling. You've got some questions or you're thinking about uh, buying uh, in this uh, market with a ton of opportunity. The call-in number is 651-646-8255. You can give us a call at 651-646-8255 is the call-in number. We'll get your questions answered. We usually like to start the show with uh, REO Hot Deals. Zach is uh, not here today, so we're going to do some uh, hot listings this morning. Let's get things started off with a condo that we have in St. Paul. This is a two-bedroom, one-bath, 800-square-foot uh, condo for $50,000. Uh, this is a, a condo that was purchased uh, 2005 range for... Uh, I think it was right around 160, so a pretty huge discount. Sounds uh, like a steal. It, it is a steal. Uh, opportunity to uh, become a homeowner for about fifty thousand dollars in Apple Valley. We have a two bedroom, two bath, 2004 built, 1,200 square foot uh, townhome for 125 thousand dollars. Another uh, smoking deal. We have in Osego. This is a three bedroom, three bath, 2005 built, two story, three car garage for 225. In uh, Belle Plaine, we've got an acreage property, five bedroom, four bathroom, 2004 built, two and a half acres, 3,500 square feet on the market for 299. In uh, Robbinsdale, uh, this is a fantastic four bedroom, two bath home built in 1952, 1,800 square feet for 189,000. Great first time home buyer home. And uh, down in Elko, we've got a three bedroom, three bath, 2005 built. Modified two-story with a three-car garage, 2,000 square feet for 237,900. Some uh, great deals out there. Some opportunity, um, as we know. We're gonna be taking your calls this morning. 651-646-8255 is the call-in number. Give us a call with your real estate questions, and we'll get them answered. We're gonna go to the phone lines. Jake, good morning. How can we help you? Good morning, gentlemen. A um, couple of quick questions that are playing into a scenario that I am living out. Um, the area in which I live is filled with homes that are in the four to five to six year old, uh, new construction range. Mine is one of those. My wife and I bought it in late 06, uh, felt at the time we got a very good deal, finished the basement, landscaped the yard. Uh, and then there's no reason to go into what happened. We all know what's happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm surrounded by to the North and West of me, raw developer owned land, which is uh, the national type developers that are sitting on this land apparently until something happens but are beginning to it looks like give this land away at a considerable discount to what I'm guessing they're along the land themselves uh, my concern right now is uh, we had a plan to live in this place for five years and then move as my wife retired from the sale of her business I am considering right now, and it's something as a, I'm a financial professional myself, something I never would have ever considered in the past, and that's allowing this to go to the bank because I've seen so many other people do it. 
and uh, purchasing a home ahead of doing that and then just going with whatever's necessary for credit repair going forward Mm -hmm. um, in order to facilitate moving into the home that we had always hoped we would be able to purchase. Mm -hmm. How is I I hate even saying it out loud, but is it, is it, is is it that awful of a plan right now? Well, Jake, what you're talking about is, is a strategic walk away and and you're seeing um, more and more families that are making the decision to do that. Uh, You know, what you'll want to do, and this is something we can sit